Greetings, everybody. Mars Kanye Gaming here, and uh, we're back to some episodes of Red Kanye. I'm going to increase the releases on these. These are going to be coming out on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the afternoons. And that'll give us a few episodes a week of Red Kanye. The Lars Kanye is going daily weekdays, Monday to Friday, and uh, the rest of the schedule you can catch at the end of this episode. I'm going to try to go for episodes of about half an hour. So back where we were, we're in the Volai Hotel. Just to give you some context, we're on the runaway. I went to the Hotel Volai. Nathan is staying in one of the rooms. I just need to figure out which one. Find out which room Nathan is in. I think we should talk to Minerva. Welcome to the Hotel Volai. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. What sort of luxury accommodations do you have? We have finely appointed spacious suites, all featuring fantastic amenities. Best of all, each room is security protected with an encrypted password locked door. So, you can rest easy at night. Well, that's a nice surprise. <laughs> That's the first thing that all of my guests say. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Okay. That must have taken a miracle to arrange. No miracle, just some good old fashioned ingenuity. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Um, actually, no. I have a delivery. Someone's walking in and out of here. Red Harvest Reserve Whiskey for Nathan Ovadia from his daughter. Oh, how nice. His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. Only 16%. That was so nice of you. Now, who is making the noise over here? Alright, so... We should be ready. Guess we need to take care of him. Thanks, Garrett. Is there only one room on each floor? Oh my. Um, hi. Well, let's make this quick. Here we go. The Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to... Smooth things over between us? I just came here to get you to leave her alone so she can get medical treatment. <laughs> she is free to get treatment. And when she does, I will use my professional network to track her down and bring her to justice. Really? She must learn that there are consequences to her actions. Now, do her a favor and tell me where she is. Because if I have to expend the effort to track her down myself, she will regret it. And I will call security on you for your involvement in this deception. No. No, I'm not going to turn her in. I promised Rizvia, Rivka, I'd get you to lay off her. Now we do things my way. I was wondering if this was going to happen. Anyone else? Sorry, Barrett, but this guy was a jerk. Hours now. Right. Anything in the kitchen? Wow. This is a luxury suite? Dude, you got ripped off. 
bathroom's bigger than the kitchen. Not my style at all. Alright, well, let's go, Barrett. Come on, Barrett. Get out of the way. All right. Well, that didn't go any different than it did with Lars. I mean, I could have convinced him, but... Uh, sorry about the mess, Minerva. Got any issues? Stuff we gotta get rid of? Nah, not particularly. Let's go see, uh... Rivka. Barrett, don't lose your head or your body. So I did, um, to show you here, creations. I did kind of a resorting of the creations according to what seems to be the standard advice. Put it that way. So I haven't seen any issues, but I thought, well, I read about that. Seems like a reasonable thing to do, so I rearranged my, uh, of course I made a spreadsheet. And, uh, row for each creation, and then categorized, and then I sorted it by those categories so I can, uh, decide a good way to put them in. Um, is this... Yeah, apparently. Let's go see if we can see Rivka. Is she in the residential area? She was down the mine last time we talked. Alright, let's go down. Yeah. Where'd you go, Rivka? I have a pen pal in New Atlantis. Oh, over here. The minor quarters. Hi. Hey, careful around the equipment. Okay. Nope. The other side. Rivka, sorry to wake you up. I just heard news that my father was found dead in his hotel room. I <coughs> assume that was your doing. I don't know what to say. I'm safe, but at what cost? I hated that man, but I never wished him dead. Why didn't you say something if you didn't want him dead? I guess I thought it went without saying. But, at the same time, maybe I secretly wished it. It's not that I'm not grateful. I don't know, this is a lot to take in. I had to, it was the only way to ensure your safety. I guess we will never know if that is true or not. It is both fortunate and unfortunate, but that burden is for me to live with now. I suppose I should thank you, even though it feels wrong to do so. He was my <sighs> father, and yet I still feel relief. It will always weigh heavy on my soul. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Goodbye. You just leave that cred stick right by your butt. Yeah, that was kind of uh, mixed emotions for you, wasn't it? Well, let's see, what do we got? Any activities we should be doing? Who's Clover? In 
Volai. Let's go talk to Clover. Here, eh? See what else we got to do here. Who's this clover person? Oh, and Neon. I'm in Sidonia. I think. Well, let's just do it this way. Yeah. Neon Core. I understand why people settled here. But it's not really my style. It's more like a trap than a diversion. Oh. Nice boost. Gangs can keep from killing each other. Oh, I think I remember who that was. did this with Lars. Who's this? Hi. What? Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Okay, I Look, guess we talk with Clover. Again. Look, you can Should've tell me better Haribo, that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Um you have me confused with someone else. Oh. oh I'm afraid I've stepped right into it again. You aren't here about Mr. Okadibo's debt to Kelkor. No. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Let me start over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. Sorry for me outburst. Um. Why would this Mr. Oka Okadigbo hire people to represent him? I'm not sure. I think he's afraid that I won't be here. He'll have to deal with my father. Someone who has a lot less patience than I do. Just a few weeks ago, he paid some poor fella to come up here and request a bit more time to pay back his debt. That's why I snapped at you like that. I thought he'd done it again. Well, um, I guess the apology isn't really necessary. That's kind of you. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. A cheese silent, eh? Okadibo. I don't mean to pry into your business no, no. affairs. The least I can do after barking at you like some junkyard dog is giving you an explanation. Mr. Okadigbo owes a substantial debt to Keltcor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience is running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. Why should I call you Chloe? Because my father has a ridiculous sense of humor, and I can't stand the name Clover. I mean, seriously, Clover? Our family's Irish, for God's sake. I don't think he could have possibly been more on the nose with that name. Ha ha, very funny, Dad. All right, um, maybe I can help you out with Mr. Akodabo's debt. You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind of you. Kinda sounds to me like he's taking a manager goodwill. No, you've got it all wrong. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigbo. Hmm. He's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. He really needs help, but he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? Um. Let me talk to him. Oh, that'd be splendid. Just. Amazing. 
If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much I've been keeping a diary. And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps her promise. How do you rack up such a big debt? When he opened the shop, he outfitted it with equipment from our company. Spent a bundle of cash he didn't have. Obviously, business hasn't been going well. Because he's fallen yeah, we, we've seen humans. his business before. Opening a mining business on a world almost entirely covered in ocean probably wasn't the most savvy of business plans. I suppose he intended to cater to travelers that were passing through our system. But it's clearly backfired. Wow. Well, oh, some better marketing. All right. Fine day. Um. Oops, oh, hold on, hold on there. Wrong button. Okay, let's see if we can find that diary. I think it's probably back here. Hey guys, I'm just, uh, just checking out your... I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning. I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody. I'm just, I'm just... Walking backwards here, nobody mind Get me at up. all. I've got a deadline coming you know what, Um, me. Right Out of my face. If you want to gawk at something, take it to the Astro Lounge. Wow. You're not nice. I have to admit, this business with Saburo is keeping me up at night. I cannot, I can see how it's starting to wear on him. Saburo is a good and risen honorable man. Pride won't allow him to accept my money, but what he doesn't understand is the game is rigged. Even in good times, variable interest rates are designed to landslide you. All I want is to give him a fair shake. I may not believe in every idea he has, but I believe in him. He just needs a financial partner who can offer some direction. Someone who has his best interest at heart. I won't lie. Give my position maybe a conflict, but my feelings for him aside, I really do want to help. Interesting. Barrett? All right, let's talk to uh, the mining guy. Nice rocks. All right. Didn't see any magazines when we were going through there. Gotta keep an eye open for magazines. The other thing we gotta do, when we're walking around town, scan, scan the people, find the bad people. Astro Lounge spared no expense with their marketing. Huh? That's right, Barrett. I think we see a red up there, don't we? Uh huh. You. Wanted, dead or alive. Watch it! Be in Astra? No, we didn't. We'll leave the coffee mug. We don't need the coffee mug. All right, you. Wow, nice. Yeah, it's a good place to hang out. Yeah, yeah, it's a fun place to hang out at. I would have loved to hang around here as a kid. Now I realize All right. how dangerous that. You like that, Barrett? See, I told you. Look at this place. Ridiculous, right? Why would someone open a mining supplies business on an ocean planet? Exactly. I can't believe this place is still open. I give it a few more months. You're a jerk. You to purchase some mining goods? Sburo. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a new face. Yeah, sure. You want to waste your credits? You go right to hand. Location like this? That's quite a surprise. The first time I'd laid eyes on this building, I felt the same way. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am, only a few years later. Pockets empty, and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. 
Well, maybe I can help you out. That would be a blessing, my friend. But I wouldn't want to impose. Need anyone for me to... to go for you? Um... Well, Clover McKenna offered to pay off your debt at, to Calcourt. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Read this. I, I saw it. Really? Let me take a look. Oh, I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. Oh, she definitely likes and you. And I like her. Oh, that came out wrong. What I meant to say was, I respect her business acumen. Oh, of course. <laughs> Look at me. My palms are sweating. Her personality. Regardless, you have done me a service, and for that, I thank you. You can tell Miss McKenna, I mean Chloe, that I accept her offer. All right. Are the feelings mutual? I do have feelings for her, and maybe now I will have the courage to tell her. I know they say never to mix business with pleasure, but there are always exceptions. All righty. Anything else I can help you with? You would do that for a total stranger? Bless you, my friend. Bless you. I've oh, I'm just looking for missions. Idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business. Take someone out? And you were the final element that was missing. If you could bring these flyers to some of the other... Oh man, I'm a flyer boy. Would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. Well, that sounds simple enough. I like walking wonderful. around and shooting Simply people in wonderful. neon, so... You have no idea the weight you have lifted from my shoulders. Sounds good. I appreciate your help. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, Please, let me know. It was good All right. to stop by. Buddy. Well, any of you bad guys? No, darn it. Thought maybe I'd shoot some more up in the store. How we doing? Hydrated and fed and well rested. Good. Any bad people out here? Nope. Not right now. Just you wait. This is Neon. No? No? And I bet you if I went in the Astro Lounge, let's do that just for fun. You're a grumpy grump. No, we haven't been here before. I mean, this could be fun if we find someone. No criminals? I'm in a, I'm in a lounge. Hey there. Where people do drugs. Bummer. Oh well. We tried. Go see Chloe. Hey Chloe. What do you think? Something I can do for you, love. Spur are great to let you pay his debts. That's fantastic. I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully father will forgive the late fees. Well, and you can afford those. If he doesn't. I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And here, for your efforts. All right. Well, thanks, Chloe. What's next? Who's Tevin? He's also a neon, eh? Let's do that.
pretty close. Sorry about the furniture, guys. So who's Kevin? Emporium. Ah, oh, it's a smart ass. Why did you drag me in here? You said you wanted to buy something nice for your girlfriend, so here we are. Do you think I've suddenly inherited a fortune? This place is way out of my price range. You? Yes. Hey, Can I help you're you? the one that... <sighs> are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of our usual clientele. Damn, I almost wore my entitled snob outfit today. <laughs> I take it from your tone, I've made an error in judgment. Oh yeah. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, right? there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. I'll take him out. You mean kill him? Even if I wanted to, well, I wouldn't know how. I've never been terribly good at that sort of thing. I don't know about that. They'll just send somebody worse, then. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Well, taking out a mafia, dude. That sounds like fun. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. All right. Um, no, this won't be a problem at all. You say that, but Seoka aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing. So you better watch your ass. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. Um, I've got this flyer. Oh? Well, maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe. Alright. Come back soon. You never know what we'll have for sale. Let's see what else we got. We can go talk in other stores. Alright. Cool. Let's, uh... I should go strong again. My Stroud Ackland. Sigheart. Hey, Sigheart. Sure. You wanna head to your forest? Buddy. Take a flyer. Hello there. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Can we talk? Can we talk? You wanna to talk to me? Hey. There we go. Welcome to Sigheart's Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Nice pitch. That's quite a bold claim. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. Well, you're methodical. So take your time. Look around. Ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. You're starting to sound like a used spaceship salesman. Haven't heard that one before. But I suppose I can't blame you for saying so. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs and death. That seems pretty common. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Sounds like corrupt politicians to me. A nice shop here, you should be making a fortune. You think that, right? Unfortunately, I'm barely scraping by. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Uh, I've got a flyer here you might be interested in. Business could always be better. I'll take that. See what you got. Sure. I have everything you need to explore the settled systems. Right. You have no weapons. You have no weapons. 
or ammo. Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? Yeah, we'll talk in a bit. I got more flyers to hand out, and I'm looking for people to knock off. Um, trade authority. No, he's probably not interested. Trade authorities are generally jerks. Um, you, you, Neon Tactical. Weapon, maybe some ammo. What is up with your? Zero percent off. Thanks. Good pitch. If you're here to buy, take a look Frank. around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Yeah, I want. I don't want any trouble. Good. Then just buy what you want and get out of here. If you don't like it, talk to Sticks. He runs our um complaints department. <laughs> hey, no complaints from me. That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating Sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti Where about your buddy? onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. Ooh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I could track that person down for you. You'd do that? Part of the Trackers huh. Alliance. Okay. Maybe I misjudged you. Well, why would someone spray your robot with graffiti? Look, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that I'm not the most popular guy on the block, and that suits me fine. But this person took it too far, made it personal. I'm not about to let some delinquent hassle the only friend that I have. Well. I can't allow an assault like that to go unpunished. Huh. I'm glad you see Sticks is more than just a possession. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. Headlock <laughs> you and Warlord. Find him somewhere near Euphorica. Sounds Scare good. Get the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the abside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the Sticks. All right. Sounds good. Hey. Uh, Saburo has this cross-promotion opportunity for you if you're interested. I don't need any handouts. I'll pass. Oh. Let's we'll see what you got Help for sale. Yourself. Let's see. So, what do we got? We can get rid of some stuff. Uh, laser pistol? I'm holding that on to that for Sarah, actually. And, uh, Heller's cutter. We gotta get that back to him. How are we doing for ammo? Actually, not too bad. Let's, uh... We can always use 40 XPL. Should be good. What about throwables? I like frag grenades. And I like shrapnel grenades, too. Alright, thanks. You know, hey. sticks... If you have time, I've been day. thinking about Van some things. Thieves. Wanted to talk to you about Yeah, hold on. Let's go talk to Newell. Hey, buddy. I don't want you to get upset. Administrator Bay, you can go like one Oh, yeah? His Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants. He said he wanted to personally thank us for our contributions to the city, and hopes for our continued support. I'm sorry. Our contributions? Those taxes we pay are a sham, so he can line his ivory trade tower with another layer of gold. Makes me sick. We're fully stocked and ready to sell. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh. Sounds like he had a problem with Sigurd's place. Oh, I don't have a problem with his place. My problem is Sigurd himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. Whoa. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, 
He pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Um, what are these merchant meetings about? A lot about? of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Okay, well, I'm sticking keeping this place safe sounds like... Well, maybe he doesn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. Yeah. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Well, let me look. Sure, have a look. What do you got for ammo? I can always use some 40. You know how many 40, do you? Nope. Um. Not that interesting, buddy. I'm sorry. I got this flyer, though. Here, let me see that. Oh, not a bad idea. You might be onto something here. Thanks for bringing this to me. Well, you're welcome. Watch your back out there. So I think I we've... Chase more zone hits, huh? I think we're done with that. Oh, I gotta give out two more? Huh. Let's work on this and then we'll go kill people. Um, anything else here? Tranquility. Hey, you. A perfect day for a nice cup of tea. Sure. Welcome to Tranquility, your new favorite spot to refresh and escape from the hustle and bustle of Neon. I'm Delilah. Um. Please let me know if you need any help or product recommendations. Is this your first time visiting Ryujin Tower? Um, yeah. It's a pretty impressive building, isn't it? If you haven't gotten a chance to check out the NeuroAmp store yet, you really should. Okay. Stuff like that goes way over my head, but it's amazing what Ryujin's engineers are capable of. Feel free right. to stop by for a chat anytime. You seem like an interesting person, and small talk goes nicely with a good cup of tea. You are perky. Feeling like a nice cup of tea today, hmm? Not really. Have looks a like, relaxing day. Looks like you don't take my flyers. Um... Who else could take my flyers? How about the liquor store? Let's talk. When you have time, of course. Beer. Need something? Packaged wine. Hey, you. Ah, customer. Feel free to spend your credits. Or get the hell out. I think he finally ran out of credits. Yeah? You need something? If wow. you're here for blend, I just had a new batch come in last night. No, I'm not here for that. Huh? Okay, suit yourself. But you have no idea what you're missing. Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of. So if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. As soon as word gets out, Blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Um, this cool fire could help your business. Uh, eh, whatever, just hand it over. I'll look at it on my own time. All right, thank you, yeah. buddy. I'll see you later. Thanks. Ow, grumpy. Should get a drink. Bum bum. All right, um, we've already been there. We've been there. Three-star rangers. I don't think you sell anything. Well, let's try the trade authority. What the heck? Hey, you. What? Yeah. Buying, selling, or moving. Um. Wow. Good day. All right, smartass. Let's cut the bullshit. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. 
Wow. Well, liberated goods, my spe specific area of interest. Now that's what I'm talking about. We both want to make some money, so what will it be? Um, you want this flyer? I don't need it. Not interested. Okay, bye. Exploring the galaxy is Time hard to work. On. Trust me. Okay, we've already been to talk to you. Um, what about this medical place? One more flyer here. Someone's got to want it. Let's chat. Hey there. Hold on, Barrett. Hey, Doc. Doc Manning will fix you up. Is it that obvious? Oh my goodness, another poor soul. What? All right. Tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Stay away from Aurora. Before we get up. All right, Doc. Try again. Oh my goodness, another poor soul. All right. Tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? Um, I don't use Aurora. That's a very wise choice. Since you're clearly a first-time visitor to Reliant Neon, I'd love to offer you a free checkup, but I'm afraid I'm dangerously low on supplies. Must have been a busy day, then. Every day is a busy day here. But that isn't why I'm low on supplies. You see, I'm a bit... At odds with the current administrator of Neon. That seems to be His common. His is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. Bayou obviously has a stranglehold on this entire city and seems to be quite the jerk. Then you understand what I'm up against. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, well, you're there's in luck. anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. All right, well, I've got these flyers. I wouldn't mind a bit of extra traffic as long as the supplies allow for it. A few extra credits never hurt. All right, good. Well, I can help you with that supply. That problem. would be amazingly helpful. I got a ship. It's a relief to meet someone who not much a of a ship, but anyone other than themselves for a change. Oh, and I'll pay you directly for the supplies, of course. It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. All right. It's ridiculous. You have to resort to smuggling. There's nothing else to be done about it. These people need my help. Anyway, I have a contact over at the clinic in the Narian system. Abby Edding, she's one of the nurses there. She'll get you started. Thank you so right. much for doing this. You have no idea how helpful it'll be for the poor folk that live in Ebside. Oh, well, here's where I can get rid of my terra firma. All right. How do you know Abby? We both apprenticed under Mary Cartwright at the medical facility in Aquila City. Spent a heck of a lot of hours working together. Abby and I got along exceptionally well. Don't get me wrong, we're just friends, of course. She's young enough to be my daughter. I almost right. felt bad leaving her behind when I was hired to work for Reliant and Neon. But I knew she'd do well wherever she ended up. Reached out to her a few months ago when I ran into trouble here and... She's been helping me ever since. All right. Well, thanks. Try not to get hurt out there. Let's uh, let's hand this in. That'll be it for this episode. Running a little bit long, but not too bad. Minor league. Whoa! Must have a boost pack, power pack, or something. Dusty. Bit too much boost in the boost pack. Dusty. Let's talk. I am confident that the Empire <laughs> oh, will help my business. Barrett. It's a wonderful day, my friend. Dusty. Um, I handed all the flyers. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. 
I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Thank you. Farewell, my friend. And All right, Barrett. What's up? I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic, and I started digging in some old things. I'm sorry, my Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. Where am I supposed to go mining on Volai Alpha? It's nothing but ocean. So Look, I hope that was a I'll comfort. It no was more. surreal, you honestly. Happy, you know? So exactly most of the messages were everyday doors. things. Lots nope. of You're excitedly written doors. news you about biodiversity and things. plant life. But one Probably thing no stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Well, um, communication's not always reliable. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. What was the message? He said they were going to destroy his life if he didn't leave the planet now. Then he asked me to help clear his name. He said they had a case against him. Oh, he sounded so upset. He was injured? No, he was frustrated and angry. He said they were going to destroy his name. Must have been difficult, Barrett. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Who's they? His former employers had some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. Frame for what? Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. This recording's 20 years old. It is, but I was thinking about it and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here. See what I can find out. There's gotta be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I'd need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. They should handle it, Bear. It works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? Irwin was that upset that it must still be important. I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. All right, Barrett. Well, with that, we're going to sign out. Tune in again to the next episode of Red Gagne, our Bounty Hunter modded playthrough. Got a bunch of creations installed. We might install more. Just quickly scroll through these so you can take a look. Catch us three days a week in the afternoons for Red Gagne episodes. And for the rest of the schedule, take a look after this episode. Thanks, everyone. Let everyone know the new schedule for Lars Gagne Gaming. We're going with Lars Gagne weekdays, Monday to Friday, 
So we'll be dropping those about half an hour episodes, maybe a little bit more. And that's to uh, get a little bit of acceleration. Two, twice a week was just too short. So we'll do that Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday is Red Dead Redemption 2. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we'll do Red Gagne. So we'll bump it up to three times a week. That's our modded Starfield playthrough. Lars is the vanilla playthrough. And then we'll do Zoro Gagne Thursday and Sunday is the plan. Just twice a week for that. And we'll maybe throw in a surprise or two on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So we'll see how it's going. Those are um, mornings and then afternoons, usually dropping about 9 a.m. my local time, which is central in Mexico, and uh, 3 p.m. or so for the afternoon sessions. All right, everyone, thank you. And uh, keep subscribing. And more importantly, drop comments and let me know what you think.